Right you guys, got another product review. This is the Colex Fanless Mini PC N42-4. Comes with Windows 10 Pro and uh, a few accessories inside. So let's have a look at the specs. As you can see here, it has the Intel Apollo Lake Pentium N4200, and, uh, which is a pretty decent chip. 2 meg cache, up to 2.5 gigahertz. Also, we have a licensed copy of Windows 10 Professional 64-bit. Intel HD Graphics 505, installs 4 gigabytes of RAM, a supported uh, expansion of RAM up to 16 gigabytes, which is awesome. Maximum 8 gigabytes for one times uh, SO DIMM on there as well system disk space is 32 gigabytes and also we have room for ssd up to 256 uh, m.2 interface and also we have a hard drive in there interface which is uh, supported by sata have a one gigabyte lan and uh, also wi-fi uh, capability on there as well and bluetooth 4.0 so the wi-fi also supports a b g n and ac generations so let's get it out of the box and take a look at the actual quality and what you get for your money because this is around about 200 pounds and as you can see this is what you're going to get inside your kit you're going to get a, a welcome gift card and your warranty card here and your user manual this is going to give you all the information you need on how to set yours up it's pretty self-explanatory it's basically like a tv box or a mini pc basically because that's what it is you just plug it into a monitor or a TV or whatever it is you want to get your display from and you're pretty much good to go you get the HDMI cable also you're going to have your power adapter now this is a universal power adapter uh, it does support UK also Europe and uh, across the pond which is US and uh, Canada because it has that two port two pronged uh, adapter on there which you can just swap out and I do like these uh, adapters a lot better than the plug-in type because these are a lot better you also have that bit of cable on here as well uh, which gives you a nice bit of length uh, to plug it into any wall outlet and you can see we have the unit itself now the unit is very well built and we'll take it apart in a bit to take a look got their logo on the front with a honeycomb uh, a finish on top which is for ventilation on the side we have some more ventilation here as well so looking on the back here you can see we do have that power port there that vga port which is used for projectors and um, monitors and stuff like that hdmi port uh, Ethernet port there, two USB 2.0 ports, and that headphone uh, port there for your headphones as well. And we're going to quickly take a look at the other side, which is your front of your device, and I'll show you what we've got on the front there. So, on the front, we do have that Type C connector port on there, which is very useful. Also, USB 3.0 ports, two of those, micro SD card slot on there as well, and we also have the power button on the front as well, and that reset. So pretty decent uh, bit of kit here pretty nice uh, mini PC now on the bottom there is some anti-slip rubber feet and also two more screws with an inspection panel here and this is where your SSD is going to go now if you want to put in uh, the M.2 slot into here and also the uh, memory you're going to have to take it apart and I will do that for you you're going to use this tack life uh, screwdriver set here if you want a link for this I'll leave this in the video description pretty nice little kit that uh, for taking things apart and uh, I'm going to remove them two screws as you can see here and this is where we're going to slot in our SSD so if you want to put a 256 SSD into here you can do and to remove the plastic covering you're just going to have to remove these sticky feet just stick them on somewhere so you can put them back afterwards remove the screws and there we have uh, the uh, backing off it's pretty straightforward so I'm just going to unplug the CMOS and remove the motherboard and as you can see we now have the motherboard in our hand. There's a couple of little cables here and these are your Wi-Fi antennas so be very careful when removing those. But you can see that M.2 slot on the board there at the bottom uh, where you're going to put in your uh, storage if you want to put more in here using that method. There's also that big passive cooler on there which is a, a big aluminium uh, heatsink. Uh, which is uh, going to call the GPU and CPU. There's the screw for your M.2 slot there. We also have the memory slot up the top where we can add in more memory as well up here as well. And that will give you 16 gigabytes. So pretty decent uh, for upgrading as well. So let's boot this uh, bad boy up and see what it looks like. Now, if you've not seen mini PCs before, they just look like a, a large PC, but in a smaller version. And I'll just quickly go into the system here and show you uh, the system specs as you can see here and you can see it does have windows 10 pro and also we have four gigabytes internal 
memory in there and uh, we can always upgrade that if we wanted to so that's the system specs there now what you can do is go into the uh, Windows Store here and download Kodi and all your programs and games that you want to do or go on the internet to your sites that you uh, visit to download all your programs and install them and it will work just like any other computer I found it very snappy and it did work very well it does play all your Kodi videos you can download and play games on here and I'll show you some footage of that a little bit later on. I'll also show you some benchmark scores which I got with this as well. Now for gaming Beach Buggy Racer no problem at all plays these and it can play more complex games like Asheville and other types of games uh, like World of Tanks and things like that if you want to. Um, but it's going to have its limitations but it's really designed for sort of multimedia which is pretty good. And you can see here plays this game no problem at all, nice and smooth, no stuttering or shuttering on there. So very impressed with that. And again, you're getting the, the ability to have a Windows machine uh, that's so small that you can uh, use it for file sharing, uh, whatever you want really, uh, just like you would do on a normal PC. And I love this game, it's a really cool little game and it's free to play as well. So let's do a quick benchmark test on here, as you can see, 104. 1601 was the score and this is for Windows this is not an Android test so that is a Windows test you can also stream 4k content on YouTube here just let me show you here I'm just going to select 4k and we'll open this up just to show you that it does stream 4k on YouTube which is a really plus sign because a lot of Android TV boxes don't allow you to stream uh, 4k content now as long as you've got the speed of the internet you can stream that down on YouTube. Also, Kodi works really well here. I'm just going to shut this off and I'll just quickly show you by streaming some content on here to show you it does work and stream. I'll just plug in my content on my USB flash drive, click on this here, and we can start to select a file to play. I'll just play this one so you can see what it looks like. There you go, nice and smooth. That's a 10 bit file, 90 megabits per second, very, very smooth no problems whatsoever and that's going through Kodi off of the USB flash drive so remember it's got to read it off the USB flash drive it's not actually on the uh, unit itself and you can see it's playing those no problem whatsoever I'll just do one more here just to show you now this is the Sony 4k 60 frames per second file and it's playing that nice and smoothly off of the USB flash drive via Kodi as you can see here and there's many other players that you can use some work better than others but you can see this is nice and smooth I'll try and skip the track here just to show you that it can catch up very very quickly so the unit is very fast indeed it's reading a USB flash drive with no problems now also you can play them directly off the flash drive as well by using Windows Media Player or the built-in uh, film and TV app which is built into Windows 10 now some of these files will be hit and miss on some players you need to get the one that works well for you uh, but the built-in one works well as you can see here I'll just skip this along there we go no problems whatsoever and there's one more game here called Asphalt 8 now all in all I'm pretty impressed with this little mini PC it's, it's really quiet you don't hear anything because it's passively cooled and it's pretty powerful and it does exactly what you need it to do so all in all a thumbs up from me I'll leave the information in the video description if you're interested. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Now, if you Bye haven't now. subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.